Mm. That's why I'm, uh, I'm typical, isn't it? Yo, what's happening? We are back, back at the occupied rewire. So, if you'd have seen last episode up there, uh, you would have seen that we had a little bit of trouble with the floor, having to draw the holes out because there was no floorboards. A uh, bit of a sod, wasn't it, mate? But we live and learn. Today, we are what, day three of the four of the rewire. So yesterday we focused on rewiring the ground lighting. So everything is rewired, pulled through as well. These are the Verso switches, very, very nice. And they're modular as well. So when it comes to having two gang, three gang, you can swap out, put intermediate switches, a lot like the Skullmore stuff. So we've got all Verso going in there, like I said. You got a socket there, mate? Cass was just second fixing a socket. Very, very nice indeed. Look at the terminals, look. So yeah, big beefy terminals on that. Plenty of room on them as well. So you can squeeze that nicely into a 25 mil socket with ease, isn't we mate? But today it's all about the wall chaser. So this is the first go with the Machado wall chaser that we're gonna have. So look at that fresh free blade. Excited, didn't we mate? Oh. Excited. Very excited. <laughs> you will notice though, there's no chase on this one. We were very lucky in pulling some of these in, weren't we? That's right. And like I said, we're on an occupied rewire. So if it was down to us, we would have gone in, chased everything straight away. But you sort of have to sort of you have to leave the customers with the power on. So that makes our life a little bit more difficult when it comes to this. So we've been having to do sort of things in stages, keep power going because they've got to live here and we just want to make it easier for them. And we want to make it as least amount of mess as possible as well. So we like to leave it every day like we haven't even been here. That's, that's the aim, keep all power running. So we've had to do things where we've pulled in now these sockets and where it was one single ring for the living room, all the bedrooms and the kitchen as well was all on one ring. We've had to sort of join the old cables through when we've pulled down the new cables are over here. The old ring is up in the hole that we've had to drill out in the chipboard flooring. We've just waygoed through. So we'll be able to keep the rest of the house going when we leave here this evening. Merch coming soon as well. They're gonna be very similar to these hats. That'd be nice, isn't it? So let me da know down in the comments if you wanna see some R. Davis merch. Everyone does. <laughs> Everyone does. So we're gonna to attempt to uh, get this up and running. We wanna attach the hose. The hose is attached, the power is on. Hose size, this refers to. The settings on here, so the little shaky shaky is the filter. So when you turn this hoover on, you will hear the, ho uh, the filter shaking. So that is to release the dust and stop it building up in that filter. So it constantly shakes. I have used this many, many times before. Not obviously not this one, but uh, my brother has the exact same setup. Uh, had it for years. Absolutely loves it. I don't know an electrician that has used one and not gone and bought one. So uh, shout out to Matabo for sending us out this out. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun, aren't we? PPE on as well. Safety number one. Safety is number one. And so we've got this. This is obviously the 230 volt one. So this is attached to the extension lead over there. And then we plug in our wall chaser into here. So then once we connect the, or we'll turn the power on to the wall chaser. It knows that we're ready to go. And we'll turn it on the back. Then we've got to turn the back on as well. And yep. we are ready to go. Did you hear that? Booger went off. 
That's cool. How good was that, Chase? Oh, that was really good. That was pretty good. Look. Look how clean it is. We did start to snag a little bit. <laughs> we hit the old gables. So, yeah, we, I thought I'd be, obviously, being to the right, I thought I'd completely miss them, but they obviously deviate out of zone slightly and go up a bit. But, mate, there's no dust in here. Yeah, no, there isn't. Zero dust in here. And there's a little bit of mess on the floor, which the Hoover will collect, but other than that, and especially when you've got an occupied rewire, there's no dust everywhere. Absolute dream. So we've got this one, we'll carry on this going up. I wanted to see why it was snagging a little bit, but that confirms why. So we'll keep going with that. We've got obviously pulled down that one, we've got one in that corner, and a couple more over here to get in. But this will eat through it in no time, won't it, mate? So we'll run around, get all the chasing done, but already that, that thing. Turned off on my release the trigger on the chasing tool. Absolute dream already, isn't it? We knew how good it was going to be, let's be honest. It's been around for a while, but it still amazes me how good it actually is. Every time we use one. And now we've got our own one. <laughs> Even better. So the previous one, obviously come in here. It's come all the way up. Dived across and went up. There. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that wasn't very straight, was it? But our chase now is dead straight. I obviously lined up the laser with the side of the wall chaser. So I could obviously still see that line measured where my blade was gonna be, where I want my blade. And it was 25 mil to the edge of the wall chaser so put me laser up and that gave me my dead straight chase but yeah that was well out of zone that well, i'm on it okay, well out of zone we would have to put a double back box in there so that was a job for young caspar in a second yeah. all i'm going to do now obviously i've stopped it shy because we've got the corners in coving running around the top so hopefully i should be able to drill up into the upstairs, get the cables down, get it trunked, get it back. I mean, do the rest. Yeah, Cass just stands around, just like looking cool. And oh, he's fifteen percent followers. A female now following him on TikTok. Yeah, he loves it. Is it there? I don't know. No? So, as you look at the trunk in, yeah? Casper? Yeah. I'm sort of to the left of it. Yeah, right behind the tree, mate. Hmm. That's what I'm... Uh, I'm Typical, isn't it? Right now, you got it? You want, you want to tie both on? You got the tape there? I'll chuck the tape up. Where's the other one? Why have you not tied it on already? All right. Can I pull now? What are you doing? What have you done here? I tied it on behind that. Yeah, but why have you stripped it like that? I didn't do that. <laughs>
So Casper's done a good job, haven't you then, mate? Getting that second fix. That chases in. We're now going to attempt to go over to the socket over the back there. Um, as much as I love using the Metaba wall chaser, we're going to try not to use it again. We're going to try and do similar to what we've done there. Take you upstairs, tie on, see if we can pull them down. Fingers crossed. So that would only mean one more chase over here for this living room. Right, so we're upstairs. Down there is the socket in the far living room. This is the upstairs ring for a socket on the wall there. These are our two cables that run down to the socket. I don't know if you can see. They've got a torch. But over to the back. You see that trunk in? There we go. So hopefully tie on. Get them down there. Them legs are currently... Uh, we've got wardrobes, everything in the way, aren't we, mate? Um, so these legs are currently coming up through the floor here. So we'll wire these across to that hole, that hole to that hole, that hole, and down. Jobs are good. This one. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Better looking at it than looking for it, eh, mate? So, <laughs> so yeah, we will cut them down. Uh, we'll cut them down, join them on, pull it through. So now I'm gonna attempt to tie on, ready to pull down. So how I like to do it, I'll strip it back, he says. I want to use one of the bigger cores, so one of the 2.5 cores we will use. We'll cut out the other two. This old cable is so hard to strip sometimes. Right, and then we will cut this one. Same process in this one. Chop that, strip this. Not as easy as that. And then I want to double over so what I'll do come back on myself on that one over on that one tie that round as tight as I can same with that and then I'll give it a little tape and hopefully that should pull so the whole trick to this is to make sure that this cable is as flat as possible so it can go down nice and easy so hopefully this is gonna pull so the one to the right, give it a pull. Hold on. Yeah. Put a bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So, that's one leg done. We'll do the same on the other leg. Get them both down. Yeah, Touch wood. The second one goes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Two legs of the ring in. Uh, tiring work, this uh, rewire malarkey. It's tiring work. So one more chase in here. Uh, we'll have to chase because the previous socket is in this far corner. Um, where the stairs run, this is the hallway here. It's easier for me to, instead of just coming up, chasing from that socket, it's a lot easier for me to bring my chase down there, put a socket so it's in zone, and then come across to another socket. This socket wasn't spoke about, spoken about, but 
it's easier for me to put the socket there so I can get my chase in that zone uh, free of charge to the customer, of course. It just makes my life easier. It's going to be a pain in the neck to get all the way over there. It's underneath the immersion and everything. Absolute ball ache. So I don't know the customer. I said, oh, I'll have an extra socket. TV's going there anyway. Always better to have more sockets. So saves me a little bit of time. It's an extra chase across, but the amount of time it's going to save me trying to get my cables to there. Yeah, it's just one of them things. So, um, yeah, it was a result getting them through again, wasn't it, mate? Oh Saves you. another chase. As much as, like I said, much as we love it, if we can get away with not using it, yeah. it's a win-win for everybody. So, that was fun. Completely forgot to record it, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice TikTok though, didn't we, mate? So, like I said, that is our route down, socket, socket that one's a different height so we will get rid of that one socket over there but we want to get these cables in for now because we need to get the power back on time is getting amongst us and we don't like leaving power off how many times we've got to say it <laughs> so i think that is going to be it for another riveting episode our casper packs away <laughs> so that is the downstairs ring all on all ready to go like I said, we kept the power on upstairs. The next episode, I think we will focus on the kitchen and get the consumer unit done. So we've got the Verso board to go in, full RCBO, surge protection, you name it. And uh, remember, like, subscribe, and me and the boy Casper, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'll lock him in. <laughs>